welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome my name is hannah and i'm the mom with muscle and in today's video you guys i'm doing a showcase of all of my favorite vessels that i currently own right now so if this is something that you guys are interested in seeing just keep watching if you are new make sure to like comment and subscribe make sure to hit that bell button for every single time i upload a video if you guys aren't already following me on instagram be sure to follow me at mom with muscle and without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so all of the vessels that I have collected over the past couple of years are all vessels and containers that you guys can currently purchase right now. None of these are antiques, none of them are one of a kinds, even though I do love that style. Not necessarily a style, but even though I love antiques, the ones that I have purchased are a little bit more mainstream. So you guys can get them and everything will be linked down below for you guys. The vessels that I have range price-wise anywhere from $30 to upwards of $415. So there's kind of a price range for any person within this video. So I'm gonna start with the cheapest and work my way up, starting with this very, very cool vase from CB2. This vase is $35 on CB2's website right now. As you guys can tell, it's a pretty large size and um, it is a gray textured vase. So one thing that I love with this particular vessel is it's super neutral. So it's there's not a lot going on to it. It's very, very neutral as far as color tones go. So this could go with any single home decor style. So I like this not only for its aesthetics, but I also liked the price point of it. And you guys might recognize this. This is the vase that I use on my coffee table to house my fresh floral arrangements. So that is going to be the first purchase for vessels. Again, this one is from CB2. All right, the next vessels that I got surprisingly are from Home Depot. Now I think Home Depot is an awesome website. And I think a lot of people overlook it because they think of Home Depot as being just home improvement, whereas they have home decor, vases, furniture, home, um, they have curtains. I mean, they literally have everything on their website. So I got on a Home Depot because I actually do a lot of shopping, you know, when kind of tinkering with our house. And I came across these really cool vases. You guys will recognize them. The first one is this really cool white vase. And I got this for $73. Now it is a white kind of glazed finish with a gray top. Kind of an aged look, pretty solid size, and it's got some weight behind it. So I'm actually gonna put this down because I'm getting tired. But this vase was really cool, and I really liked the price point of it. I pulled in some white tones because a lot of the vases that I have or the vessels that I have are more of like the concrete style. So I kind of gravitated towards this vase in particular to kind of break up some of the other vessels that I have in my home. So that is the first Home Depot vessel. All right, the second vessel that I got from Home Depot was $101. And you guys will recognize this one from my entryway. Now I get a lot of compliments and comments and questions on this one. This one was from Home Depot. I actually love this vessel. It's super cool, concrete. I love the texture and you guys can see there's a little bit of an ombre effect here in the center where it's a little bit darker and then lighter and then darker again. But it's got the, some distressing here in the center and I loved just the structure of this vase. And again, I got this one from Home Depot for $101. Now the next two vessels are from Pottery Barn and these are iconic for Pottery Barn as far as style goes. All right, so the very first uh, vessel from Pottery Barn is the infamous Joshua vessel. This one is the largest size of the series. There are three different sizes, a small, a medium, and a large. And this one is $89 from Pottery Barn. I just loved it because it is black. If you guys are new to my channel, my style or my color scheme within my home is black, white, browns, and greens. So this kind of plays off of my color tone, but I love the distressing and the texture of this one. So this one is $89. You guys, I'm out of breath because these things are heavy to lift. I don't know what bright idea this was of mine, but okay, whoa. So $89 for the first vessel from Pottery Barn. All right, so the very next item from Pottery Barn is this really cool white large terracotta vase. Now this, when I got it, was a lot more larger, even though I had taken the measurements than I thought. It's very, very deceiving online. But this one is $129, and you guys can just tell how big it is compared to my face. And I have this one housed on my dining room table. But I like that it has, again, that texture. That is what I look for when I'm looking for vessels. I like ones that have character and aren't perfect, that have a little bit of wear and tear on them as that's what kind of what a vessel is. Kind of supposed to show that it's been aged. So this is kind of a play off of that. 
It is not a white, it is a cream color with gray texture coming out of it. So again, I have this one on my dining room table. So if you're looking for a large vessel, this would definitely be a good option for you. So those are the two vessels from Pottery Barn. Again, this one was $129 and the Joshua, the large size was 89. All right, so the next vessel that I got is from Wayfair and I purchased it for $93. Now this one, is very very cool now a little bit of a backstory on this when i purchased this vessel it was very much that terracotta terracotta can come in a couple different tones and when i got this vessel it had a lot of red at the top like a lot of red and a lot more that kind of came up on their uh, web image and so i just taped off a line and i sprayed the top of it black you guys could kind of spray the whole thing if you wanted but I liked just the shape of this one. Again, it is fairly large as you guys can see. The bottom is gray, very, very distressed at the bottom. And again, just kind of taped off that top and sprayed it black. So this is the next vessel that I got off of Wayfair. All right, so the next and last set of vessels that I'm gonna to talk to you guys about are all from Restoration Hardware. Now I do have quite a few of you that are new to my channel and kind of just reiterating, I do work for Restoration Hardware, hence why I have so much furniture from Restoration Hardware as well as how many vessels I have from Restoration Hardware. So please keep that into consideration when I am discussing Restoration Hardware pieces. Now, the vessels that I have range from Restoration Hardware from anywhere from $100 to upwards of $450. That is my most expensive vessel that I have from Restoration Hardware. But as a side note, I would highly recommend if you guys are RH lovers to spend the $100 and get their membership because right off the bat, you will save yourself 25%. So the $450 vessel takes it down to like $300, which is more of affordable price given what it is. So some of the vessels from Restoration Hardware, I am gonna have to stand up and take you to them because they are larger pieces. Starting with the smallest one that I have from Restoration Hardware, which is this really cool stone vessel. Now, if you guys have been with me a while, you will recognize this vessel. This came through my work and I had to take it. I had to snag it. Very, very cool stone vessel. This one is $105 retail on rh.com. It is solid, it is heavy. I definitely think Restoration Hardware, RH stands for really heavy. It's All their stuff is very heavy. So this is the first vessel and I loved it because it is small, it's not just obnoxious so I can just place it on my kitchen counter or on a sideboard. So that was the first vessel. The second vessel from RH that I picked up is actually the one right behind me. Now I am going to do a close up of every vessel that I've talked about but this is my newest purchase from RH. And you guys, I love this vessel. Not only are you guys blowing me up on Instagram every time I post this, where did you get that from? This rice wine vessel is $205 on rh.com. Now, to me personally, for what it is, that is a very reasonable price. So this particular vessel comes in two different options. It comes with the dominant of white with a dark brown undertone or flip-flopped. Dark brown with a white undertone. So I went with the lighter version and you guys, I'm so happy with this vessel. It is, it is stunning, seriously stunning. So I picked this up from Restoration and again, this one was $205. The third Restoration hardware vessel that I got is actually considered a urn. This is the French weathered urn and I purchased this for $295. It's so big that I have to stand up to show you guys. So this is it and it is like almost like a pot with handles on it but I loved the color, I loved the texture. You can see all the texture within it. And again, just so much dimension, so much contrast, and it's got little legs on it. But you guys can obviously see how big this is compared to my body. So again, I purchased this one for $295 but this is definitely a show stopper. And so that vessel I actually have styled in my beauty room and I have it on the ground. So you could style that with like different pompous grass or different really tall florals is what you guys would mean with that. But I honestly just have it in my beauty room styled underneath a sideboard. So that is the third vessel from Restaurant. All right, you guys, so we are currently upstairs and this is the entry into my master bedroom. But the vessel that I wanted to talk about is the very last vessel that I have from Restoration Horror, which is this awesome 19th century Spanish vessel. Now, I had to bring my camera up here just to show you guys the magnitude of this vessel. So, this vessel is massive, and this vessel is $450 retail on restorationhardware.com, but I did get it at the outlet. So I saw this vessel last year at their Black Friday sale 
at the outlet again. And this kind of, this vessel was the vessel that, that started this whole obsession of vessels for me. So this was my very first vessel purchase. And then from there it was like, I just love vessels. So I thought this was such a wonderful, like one of a kind piece that I had to buy it. And obviously I did get it at a discount. $450 is retail for restoration hardware. But yeah, I just, I love it. And I know I'm gonna get questions on the olive branches in this. These are also from restoration hardware. And I loved it because they're tall and they fill up that entire vessel. So again, this is the entry to my bedroom, which I'm going to show you guys. I just want it to be perfect before giving you kind of the reveal of my master bedroom makeover, but that is the final vessel from Restoration Hardware. That is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the vessel collection that I've accumulated over the last few years and i hope you guys enjoyed i'll probably do more vessel videos or updates because i'm constantly i'm constantly looking for different vessels different pots um, everybody loves like the paper mache bowls i love finding stuff that has character to it so i probably will do updates as i accumulate more of them but i hope you guys enjoyed my collection that i have thus far and like i said everything is down below for purchasing and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up so i know to make more content like this for you guys in the future and as always i love you guys Mwah. we'll see you guys in my next video peace mm -hmm.